Hello, today I'm going to be talking about two animals and the adaptions that they have. So the first animal I'm going to be talking about is the rabbit and the second one is the fox. So in our example the rabbit is the prey and that means that the rabbit is eaten by our predator, our fox. And both of these have adaptions that help them in their respective roles. The rabbit is a herbivore. That means it will eat the producer in our food chain, which in this case is probably grass and other herbs and things like that. And it's also the primary consumer, meaning that it is the first thing to eat those producers. So I'm going to start with the the two features that stick out most to me, and those are the ears and the eyes. So the first one is large ears. They help the rabbit to detect any predators that might be coming after it, and they can also be turned independently of each other so that they can hear in different directions. So the next thing I'm going to talk about is the eyes, and they've got 360 or nearly 360 degree vision, which means they can see almost all the way around themselves without moving their heads, which is really useful for the rabbit, because it means that it doesn't have to move about much to have a look at all of the things around it. So other features of the rabbit, they live in burrows. And these burrows allow it to get away from the predators and escape effectively. The predator is not often going to fit down into the burrow. What else? Well, they often are active at dawn and dusk. So the light is lower, so it is harder for the predators to spot them. So that's our rabbit, that's our prey. Oh, one more thing about the rabbit. They have an alarm call. So if one rabbit makes an alarm call, they will all run away into the burrows to keep themselves safe. So that's a behavioral adaptation, which will help them to escape the prey, the predators. Moving on to our predator. This is the fox. People often think that foxes are carnivores, they're actually omnivores, so they'll eat both animals and plants. And that's an adaption to help them survive when maybe they can't find prey. So we've got omnivore. We've also got the large ears making an appearance again. Large ears. But in this case, they are there to help it find the prey rather than to run away from the prey. We've got a different type of vision. This is binocular vision, meaning two, and binocular vision is really good for depth of vision, to be able to see how close things are to you. The rabbit, by the way, has binocular vision, and that, that binocular vision over here helps it to locate its prey a lot better. It's got a really good sense of smell. Far better, in fact, than ours. And that, again, is very useful for locating prey. The final thing I'm going to talk about is camouflage. So it's camouflaged to the environment. It's very difficult to see a fox when it is in long grass, which helps them to hunt.